Chris Maynard from Narromine, New South Wales. Our property called Willie Dar is uh, 1,500 hectares on the central west plains, a bit west of Dubbo in New South Wales. Regeneration and diversity are important for, for us from a personal point of view, but also from a, a practical business point of view. So from a business point of view, everything we've tried to institute uh, is to provide a better foundation for more nutrient cycling and for more pest control and other issues like that that biodiversity supplies to our property. A huge lot of change in the, in the time that we've been going down this track. Uh, very much a change from my uh, younger life as a, as a boy seeing very bare paddocks and lots of uh, dust in the uh, summer times and lots of bare soil a lot of the time, ploughed up ground and all of that. Uh, which now no longer exists a, at all. So even in a, a bad day that is stirring up dust storms more broadly and that sort of thing, we don't see soil moving on our place. We also don't see water running off or pooling on top of our paddocks like we used to, to evaporate in summer thunderstorms. And uh, uh, also just the uh, amount of bird life and other little critters and, and new plants that keep on uh, popping up through our, our place is, uh, is quite remarkable. We wanted to, as much as reasonably possible in a modern world, reduce the need for outside inputs, especially of nutrients and other non-renewable outside inputs. And uh, so that's where our diversity work has centred upon more and more plants and animals that, that uh, keep uh, increasing the natural functioning so therefore, we don't have to purchase other things. It's seeking a win-win outcome uh, you know, instead of either or with environment and production and our, our social needs uh, as well. Uh, thing that we get to do in our lifetimes is keep on thinking and scheming up ways where we can make that happen in a practical sense. When we plant a, a tree or a series of, of trees, we're planting it for multiple purposes. It's not just a production tree, nor will it just be for uh, diversity or for its own natural uh, purpose. That's where we um, actively look at how we're planting the, the trees and where we're doing it so that they continue to provide a production basis which increases our production over time rather than takes away. There, there are uh, many things that, that are locally applicable that you can do for a production purpose alone, uh, but still get lots of environmental benefits as a side thing. So even if you're completely disinterested in environment, there's still a win there and the community will support you. Definitely more resilient nowadays and that was a big aim of what we've tried to do and will continue to do. Uh, adding more strings to our bow in a simple uh, parlance to, to try and make it so that, that you can withstand changing circumstances. In a regular farmer's paddock, it's not going to be returned to a national park, but we can have some of the elements that support the natural functioning there and also help production by taking the best of all of those. So it's actually really combining the wonderful uh, array of things that we have there in intelligent ways that make sense for you locally. Retention of the full diversity on our places, I believe is actually a responsibility that we all share. Whatever sized area you're, uh, uh, you're managing it, whether it be a suburban block or a large rangeland uh, property. Uh, I think if we uh, end our lives and can say at the end of our lives that we've increased the diversity on our property, I think that's something to be very, very proud of.